Hi, so this video is a demonstration of an artificial life project testing the benefit of schooling behaviors in fish um, for their rate of survival. Uh, the environment contains a large number of fish ut utilizing the Boyd flocking model and predators were also brought uh, into the simulation used to find the parameters which increase survival rate. The flocking model operates on three behaviors. One of them is separation, which calculates the mean direction uh, away from uh, nearby voids and steers the agent away from them. Alignment calculates the average direction of neighbors and makes the voids more likely to go in the same direction. The last behavior that attributes to coordinated flocking between the agents is cohesion. Uh, it finds the uh, average position of the neighbors and steers the agents towards them. I added an additional attribute, attribute where if the number of neighbors is small, the agent will instead try to join a faraway group. The neighbors which contribute to uh, the cohesion behavior uh, have to be in sight distance of the agent, but also above separation distance, keeping the agents a distance apart. The cohesion is also weighted depending whether the agents are rather close to each other within cohesion distance uh, or if they are in a small flock. Then the uh, cohesion weight is multiplied if the agents are close to each other, the weight decreases. Each of the vectors generated by the flocking algorithms are then weighted um, by multipliers speci specific to a particular member of the population. There are several parameters governing the uh, movement of the fish, uh, randomized for each individual member. These values are uh, randomized within a fraction uh, of the average value and they include parameters such as uh, speed of the fish, the, how far away they can see, the weight of the flocking behaviors, uh, number defining the small flock or a number which slows down the agent's rotations. The vectors generated by the flocking algorithms are combined by simply adding them together and normalizing them uh, and then scaling that result by the turning delta to find the new direction which the agent will steer towards. The nearby voids function doesn't just take into the consideration the distance between the agents um, but it also considers the angle. So agents are only considered neighbors when uh, the other agent is within a cone in front of this agent. So uh, the predator uh, void was implemented as an extension of the base void class. Uh, it searches for, for the closest void that is not uh, in a small flock, unless it's very close, um, and steers towards it. It has a much lower uh, turning delta uh, than the other agents, uh, but it's also much faster. The uh, fish boids then received a fleeing behavior which searches for um, any nearby predators and attempts to steer away from them. Originally, this fleeing behavior had a weight. However, the results were best if the fleeing overtook all the other behaviors. Therefore, I kept the fleeing weight quite high. Let's take a look at how the fish behave in the simulation. As you can see, the boid uh, will run away from the predator while 
trying to maintain a group. Each different uh, group uh, generates uh, unique patterns thanks to the randomized values. You can see the small flock behavior uh, appearing in parts of the program uh, where uh, lonely lost points will uh, attempt to join a bigger flock. By looking at how the um, voids boy are performing in this environment, you can see that um, the predators are not able to uh, catch uh, much prey when, atta when attacking a particular flock. The results uh, of the simulation are generated um, by uh, buoyed deaths which occurred in the uh, first 30 seconds. By inspecting these values, we can determine the parameters that were uh, beneficial to the survival rate uh, of the fish. So. By looking through some of the values, uh, the, um, the the boids which died had uh, a lower than average uh, weight of cohesion, a below average um, sight distance, and were also mostly um, separated at the time of uh, death with only uh, between one to five voids um, at the time of death. Another interesting uh, thing that emerged from the simulation is the fact that there were very few deaths of um, fish with a larger small flock def definition. These fish would act as uh, kind of leaders of the group uh, pointing their neighbors towards um, other flocks. In conclusion, in this project, uh, an artificial life agent-based model was effectively developed uh, to answer uh, the question of whether f uh, flocking behaviors are beneficial to the survival rate of fish. Uh, the study could be further improved by adding more goals for the agents, uh, su such as giving the fish needs to feed and reproduce, um, which would make the simulation more accurately repre represent real life.